what's up what's up my lv besties welcome back to another video my name is candy and if you're new here thank you so very much for joining my channel and if you're not new here thank you so very much for jumping back on to another video and i just want to say that i am so appreciative of each and every one of you because every time you like share comment or watch my video it does help my channel grow and if it weren't for you guys then my channel would just be nothing. So thank you all so very much. And I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart. So thank you all. And I just wanna say, I have debated getting on here today. And the reasons why I haven't been on here the past several days has been because of two things. For one, you probably can see my allergies are like, they're so bad right now. There's, there's just nothing. I give up. <laughs> I, I completely 100% just give up because my eyes are swollen. They are pouring today. Just all day long, I've had to deal with like dabbing my eyes because it looks like I'm just bawling my eyes out. And then it burns on top of that. So there's no telling when it's going to get better. Like we're on into June and I'm still having the issues. So the reason why I debate it is not so much of how I look, but it's because I have to edit out the dabbing of underneath my eyes so much throughout this video. I cut all of that out so you guys do not have to see, but yeah, so it takes up so much time to edit all of that out, but I have to get back on here at some point, right? So the other reason has been my back. I have had some extremely bad back pain for the past several days, like really, really bad. And I don't know if you guys know, but I have herniated disc in my low back. I've talked on it several different times throughout my videos. And basically the discs that are bulging, press down on my sciatica nerve, which sends pain down my hips and down my legs. And y'all probably know the whole gif of that, but it's been like really, really bad this time. Like, like a pinched nerve on top of a pinched nerve pain because I was having even like some numbness and like spots of my legs or my legs. It was mainly on the left side. And then of course the pain that goes down my legs and into my feet and then, and then also the low back pain, which I usually don't suffer from low back pain too much unless I've been standing or laying or in any kind of position for a long time. But I don't know what's been going on, but I've had a major flare up. So I have had that going on along with the allergies. So I've been treating my back pain with home remedies because I used to go to the chiropractor and it just seemed like every time I would leave, I would feel worse. So I've just been doing my own home remedies, which includes several different things. And then also going and getting massages. I really do feel like the deep tissue massage has helped me the most. And I went and got one today. So it hasn't been long since I've been back from getting a massage. I kind of look all even more rough, but that's okay. That's okay because I thought, you know what? I've got to get on here and do a video for you guys. So that's what's been going on in my life for the past couple days. And I hope that you all have had a great week. And going into the weekend, I hope you all have a great weekend. So let's move on with the video. So I'm gonna first start off by showing you guys my bag of the video, and it's also been my bag of the day. So I've been using my Pochette Matisse in black on front. The past few days, I've tried to do more like walking and being more mobile for my back because whenever I was in like the extreme pain, I pretty much just like laid on ice. But anyways, so I know that, you know, you gotta get up and get to moving eventually. So the past couple of days I've been trying to do that. And so today I took my daughter to the mall and we went and shopped and I knew I needed a crossbody. So I carried this beauty with me because it's one of my favorite crossbody bags, the Pochette Matisse that is. And when I say Pochette Matisse, that goes for all of my Pochette Matisses because they all work great for a crossbody bag to leave you hands free so you can do whatever that you need to do. And I can put my phone in the back pocket so I have easy access to my phone. So bag of the video, bag of the day is my Pochette Matisse in black on point. Okay, so now let's move on with the actual topic of this video. And it is why I returned my precious little ivy bag in the cream color we'll insert a picture of that bag right up here so, so you guys know which, which bag i'm talking about if you have not seen it already so i did an unboxing of that bag i love the ivy bag because it makes a wonderful crossbody bag and one reason why i really love the ivy bag is because it's so lightweight and so when i carry a crossbody i don't even know it's on so when i got the canvas bag i got it 
to wear as a crossbody bag and with it being so lightweight, I wouldn't have to worry about it hurting my back or anything if I'm going to be walking for a long period of time. And also I can just put my essentials down in it and that's, that's all I need. So my monogram canvas one, I love more for like a casual look. So I wanted the leather one for more of like a dressy look and then also casual as well, but I think it makes a cute bag to dress up with. And I wanted the cream because I don't have as many cream bags as I do black and also to me that color cream looks really good in the summer months and then also in the winter months as well or any other time that you want to pair it with a cute outfit because that's really what I do. But anyway, so I chose the cream because I don't have very many cream bags. If y'all watched that video and if you haven't, I'll link it in my description box below. The strap on the bag. It is so short and yes, it makes an okay shoulder bag. But it's a bag that I want to wear crossbody because it's a very lightweight bag. And when it's lightweight and, you ha and you're and you hanging it on your shoulder, it kind of wants to flip forward and such. But crossbody, it's perfect. And this is just with my body. And these are my opinions about this bag, by the way, because other people may love to wear it on their shoulder. I just do not. I do not. I do not want to wear it on my shoulder. I do not want to wear it as a clutch or carry it in my hand. I just don't want to do that. So I like those bags specifically to be worn crossbody. So the strap that comes with that is adjustable, but it only adjusts to one length besides a short length. Basically you pull it up and you push the two little buttons together and that makes the long length. Well, when I put that on, that bag hits about right here crossbody, which whatever, that's okay, as long as I can swap out the straps. So with my monogram canvas one, I can do that because I have extra straps that I can put with that bag. And you guys probably remember me trying different straps out through that video, right? Just a few different ones. So in order to make it a crossbody bag for me, I need to swap out the straps. And I will also tell you guys, I do have extenders for bags, I do. And, but I'm so tired of it. I am so tired of buying extenders for bags. It's like make the straps adjustable to many different lengths. Like why do we even need that strap? I mean, I like it on my Neo No Way bags because I use it at its shortest length and I just hang the bag right here because it's that bag's not a crossbody bag. But I don't get that strap. I mean, I know there's probably a lot of you that love it and it's great if you do, but in my case, it does not work for a crossbody and probably in a lot of people's cases, it does not work for a crossbody strap. So it being adjustable with one length and the strap is short, just doesn't make any sense to me. Like put a lengthy strap on there. So it gives people that are taller or bigger boned or top heavy like I am, short, whatever the case may be, give us more options to be able to wear the bag the way we want to wear the bag. So it was either add extenders, which I did buy and they did come in and I just didn't like the look. I didn't like the look with the extenders on that strap. Not at all. Anyway, so I thought I am not going to settle on a bag that I'm going to have to wear either extenders with that I don't like with the bag or I'm going to have to wear a chain on it because that's another option is putting like a long chain on it. Well, okay, well, that's not very comfortable. <laughs> is it cute? Sure, it is cute. So it does come with a chain. To me, that looks so cute on the bag as an accessory. But even just taking that away and wearing a long chain, I just don't like those. I've kept very few bags that have chains that doesn't have like a shoulder piece to go on the top of my shoulder because they're just not comfortable to me. And I've tried them on many different bags in the past and I just did not like it. So a, the chain option wasn't gonna work either. So my only other option was looking at what bags I did have in the same color. So I have the YSL behind me over here and it's in the crema soft but the strap is not detachable and that one's not even adjustable but it at least does fit me good crossbody and also it fits me on my shoulder which is the way I, I like to wear that bag another bag i have in the cream color is my gucci marmont camera bag and it has an adjustable strap but not detachable i hate that it's not detachable but i will say at least 
at least it adjusts to many different lengths. So it fits many different body types. The other cream bag I have is the one behind me, the Capucine. It comes with a wide strap with pink leather braids down the side. Okay, that's all that I have as far as a cream strap goes. So then I remembered my daughter had a coach bag in the color cream and it was actually detachable and adjustable. So I got that out, put it up against the bag and the difference was a tremendous difference in color. I just can't justify paying $2,000 for a bag and have to scrounge for a strap to wear with it. That's just not cool. So I returned the bag. I loved it but it's gone. So I'm going to show you guys now which bag I did get, okay? So. And I'm just going to slide this off because the ribbon's pretty, pretty tight. So you guys are probably gonna laugh when I show y'all what I exchanged the bag for, but. Okay, so you guys probably already know which bag I got. <laughs> just about looking at the dust bag, but here she is in her dust bag and I exchanged her for <laughs> the Ivy in the black <laughs> because I love these bags so much. So I know I have a lot of black bags, which is why I didn't get this in the first place, but I wanted this particular bag in the leather version as well as the canvas. So yeah, so here she is in the black, and I'll do a 360 with you guys real quick like. So here's the front, the side, the back, the side, and the bottom of the bag. So as you can tell, it is in black on point leather and has oversized monogram embossed all over the bag. So back to another black bag. But honestly, like this will probably go with a lot more outfits and stuff anyways, but you guys already know that I have black straps from other bags, like my Pochette Matisse. So I don't have to worry about trying to find a strap to go with this bag and wear it crossbody because I have multiple black straps. And I also might see what the monogram canvas does look up against this black one. If you guys have ever seen the Sat Plat PM bag in the black epi leather, it has a monogram strap attached to it and it looks really cute with that. So I will see what I think about that on, I don't know, but regardless, I have black straps. So this bag is going to work out much better than the cream version. So let me open it up and show you guys what I was talking about on the strap. So here it is at its shortest length. And let me show you guys what it looks like on real quick on this short length in case you guys are curious about this bag and that is an issue for you. So right underneath of the armpit it is. Okay, so that's a no for me. So to wear it at its longest length, I can't wait to show you guys where it ends up on me. So here's that one little adjustment that I was talking about. It has a little snap button up there and here it is at its only other length and the longest length. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the chain on it so you guys can kinda get the whole look. And then we're gonna move on to what I'm really gonna do with the bag. But I want you guys to see so y'all know what I'm talking about. In case y'all did not see my video, now y'all can see. Okay, so cute, cute, cute with the chain as an accessory. I love it. This is not a chain that I would want to wear on my shoulder. However, it would be okay, I guess, in the crook of your arm. To me, it's an accessory for the bag. But let me show you guys now. Okay, so first I just wanna say I'm here to represent me some TLC today because if you are anything like me and you love old school music, and it's old school for me because um, I grew up in the 90s and the early 2000s, then who didn't love TLC, right? Like TLC is still on my playlist today and I listen to them all the time, but yeah, we don't want no scrubs now, do we? Okay, I'm just joking, I'm just joking. All right. I just want to know if y'all liked my shirt because I love it because I love me some TLC. Okay, let's move on to the bag. So here it is as a long shirt bag, which is totally cute. But like I said, it's very lightweight and it's not the way I want to wear the bag. So the way I want to wear the bag is crossbody. Can't do it. Cannot do it. Even if I lose the weight that I'm trying to lose, it's still not going to be long enough to wear a crossbody. <laughs> 
There's no way I would ever walk out this door wearing this bag right here as a crossbody bag. No. So in my case, now you guys can understand why the Ivy bag had to go back because I didn't have a cream strap to match it and I didn't want to wear a chain. So, oh well, the black is very pretty. So let's go over some of the details of the bag and then I will put on the other strap and show you guys what it looks like. The top of it has a little snap closure right there, little tiny button snap closure. You open it up to a microfiber lining interior and I love that it has the microfiber inside. My monogram one has textile lining and that's okay but I just love it so much more when it has microfiber. So it does have a good size opening right there as you guys can see and then a zipper pocket right there and then back here it has a place to put one two three cards and then a pocket behind that to put additional cards or whatever you want to put some cash you can fold up some cash and put back there like it's a pretty good size pocket back there so you can sit cash or whatever okay so now i'm going to try this bag on with the different straps and i'll show you guys the way i like to wear it so i'm just going to remove my strap from the pochette matisse so i'll show you guys how well that matches so no problem with matching a strap to this bag. So here's the strap on this bag and I'm going to show you all what it looks like crossbody. Okay, so here's the bag crossbody. So this is the length that I want my bags at, which I've already had it adjusted to my pochette matisse, so it worked out perfect, but this is how I want to wear this bag, just like this. So it makes a difference when you have a strap that is long and gives you um, many options to adjust it. So to me, this bag looks really cute up against the shirt and, and it's a bag that you can dress up or dress down. So I really like this bag just like this, like this is perfect. And then also if you want to carry it on your shoulder, of course you can with this strap as well. So I'm happy that I have the black bag now because I don't have to search any longer for a strap because I already have them. So big difference there. I just don't understand why Louis Vuitton or any brand, as a matter of fact, doesn't make straps like this. Like this gives you many options and oh well. I know I'm sounding like I'm a complainer, but when you're spending that kind of money, I just think they should make it where they will fit, you know, most all body types. Okay, so I'm gonna put the monogram one on it just to see what it looks like, okay? So it may not even be cute, I don't know. I just wanted to see. So here it is up against the bag. So I don't know. I don't even know if I like it at all, <laughs> but we're gonna see just because I'm curious. The sack plat bag is a solid epi leather, so it doesn't have anything, but I think it's just so cute on that bag. All right, so we'll see. We'll see what it looks like, okay. So, I'm gonna try it on. So, here it is with the monogram strap. I don't know if you guys can see with me stepping back. And if not, I'll step forward so you guys can see. I don't know. Like, it's okay. I would have to like take a picture and look, or when I go to edit, I can kind of see more because I really can't see. I mean, like, I can see right now, but I still can't see like the strap, but it may be because my eyes are really blurry from running. <laughs> so, anyways, I just wanted to kind of see what it looked like. With the black bag just to change it up some you know like i don't know just to give it a different look but i'm thinking i'm gonna go with the solid black strap so that's settled and the monogram canvas bag continue to be cute with all of my monogram canvas bags unless when i go to edit it looks different but i don't think so okay so here they are side by side the chain is down in this bag and i wear this strap with this bag it does have a Vachetta strap, which is in the bag as well, but I don't use it. So yeah, my monogram one and now my black on prompt one. Super cute. So if you watched my video, then you would remember me saying I had the twins. So the other twin got sent back, but she gained a new twin. Okay, so love the bag so very much. One good reason I will say about this bag being black versus the cream version is that I don't have to worry about weather conditions. So I can wear this in any type of weather 
and yeah it'll be cute dressed up or dressed down the, i hate the beautiful cream one did not work out because it is such a very beautiful bag but that's okay because i have other bags in that color and again i hope you guys don't think i'm just trying to be a complainer and again i really just can't justify spending that kind of money on a bag and having to like <sighs> resort to wearing a chain that hurts when i wear it crossbody or wear the bag away that i don't want to wear it so the chain works or, and all the other stuff I went over. So anyway, so that is my video for today. I'm happy to have the Ivy bag in black. She is very beautiful. I really and truly probably could never get enough black bags anyways. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, I'd appreciate if you'd go over and do that. And I'll put it right here for all you guys to see. So that way y'all can find me easily because it's not the same as my YouTube name. You just take out the suite and add some periods in between. So anyways, I'm going to let you all go as I always do with, I hope you have a great morning, day, evening, or night, whatever the time it is that you're watching this. And for me, it is a good evening. And I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye.